endangered. Interruptor pulse closer fault interrupters operate at high voltage. Failure to observe these precautions will result in serious personal injury or death. Some of these precautions may differ from your company's operating procedures and rules. Where a discrepancy exists, follow your company's operating procedures and rules. This video is intended to be used in conjunction with the written instructions that came with your product, SNC Instruction Sheet 766-530. This video series covers protection and communication setup of an Intelliruptor Pulse Closer Fault Interrupter by using IntelliLink Setup software. Before beginning, read and understand the overview section of the written instructions. You will need to be familiar with the unique features and functions of an Intelliruptor Pulse Closer Fault Interrupter before continuing. In this video, we'll configure a Closing Profile and Hotline Tag Profile. Closing Profiles are settings profiles that are used for setting up the Intelliruptor Pulse Closer operation during closing. This profile is only active during the short time that the Intelliruptor Pulse Closer is performing a close operation. It provides a subset of the general profile settings, including pulse closing, synchronism check, open source sectionalizing, and tripping on voltage and or frequency. Closing profiles are a subset of the general profile. To configure a closing profile, navigate to Setup, Protection, and select Closing Profile 1 or Closing Profile 2. Closing Profile 1 is the default active profile. Note that closing profiles do not have testing capabilities. When closing on a closing profile, the device will trip to lockout. The active closing profile is always used when closing from IntelliLink software or SCADA. When closing from the manual lever, pulling the lever once closes using closing profile one, and pulling the lever twice closes using closing profile two. In the Closing Profile Main section, we have the option to enable or disable pulse closing technology. Disabling pulse closing technology will result in a point-on wave closing. The time for closing profile to be active determines how long the closing profile will be active and shown as the profile in use on the operation screen. The timer starts once the three poles are closed. Upon completion of the timer, the device will revert to the active general closing profile shown in the active general profile on the operation screen. The time for external lever closing delay can be configured to allow time from the close request to the actual operation. To activate closing profile two with the manual lever, a second pull must occur before the closing delay timer expires. Another option is to enable fast closing. This will enable all three poles to be closed with a non-synonymity of less than or equal to two milliseconds. This is only available with a sync check function and is typically used when connecting a distributed energy resource. Fast closing can be enabled by first changing the sync check enabled dropdown to yes and then fast closing enabled to yes. When sync check is enabled, other options appear. Voltage difference threshold, which is the difference between either side of the open gap. The phase angle difference threshold is the angle of phase between the voltages on either side of the open gap. These two thresholds are performed on a per pole basis. All three poles must be within the configured parameter to allow the closing operation. The frequency difference threshold is the difference in frequency between the X and Y sides. The voltage threshold requires voltage to be at or above this level. The sync check wait timer is the time the sync check close request is active. If the other parameters are not met within the sync check wait timer period, the sync check will be discarded. The protection elements in the closing profile time current characteristic, or TCC, curve are the same as the initial trip section of the general profile. A user can copy from any of the general profiles to populate information in the closing profile. The closing profiles 
also have a limited subset of the voltage trip section from the general profiles. The voltage and frequency functions will also be applied when the copy function is used on the closing profile screen. Refer to the video on configuring a general profile or the written instructions for details on the parameters on this page. Closing Profile 2 has the same options as Closing Profile 1. Typically, Closing Profile 2 is set with Pulse Closing Technology disabled. This allows for a hard close or sync check close for troubleshooting purposes. There is also a profile that can be configured for Hotline Tag. Note the Hotline Tag does not have testing capabilities. When Hotline Tag is enabled, a closed device will always trip to lockout. Once opened, a device with the hotline tag applied cannot be closed by any means until the hotline tag has been removed. The hotline tag profile consists of Direction 1 and Direction 2 sections. The same elements are available from the initial trip profiles. Again, settings can be copied from other profiles and be applied to hotline tag as a starting point. Voltage and frequency will also be applied after a copy function. This concludes configuration of closing and hotline tag profiles. For more information, see our website at snc.com.